Question. A stop sign is shaped like an Option number 1. Rectangle. Option number 2. Square. Option number 3. Circle. Option number 4. Octagon. The answer is option number 4. Octagon. Question. This sign means? Option number 1. Narrow bridge ahead. Option number 2. Lane ends or roadway narrows ahead. Option number 3. Industrial area. Option number 4. Freeway on ramp ahead. The answer is option number two. Lane ends or roadway narrows ahead. Question. When driving at speeds under 30 miles per hour, keep a minimum following distance of Option number one, one second. Option number two, two seconds. Option number three, three seconds. Option number four, four seconds. The answer is option number two, two seconds. Question. Don't follow other cars too closely because? Option number one. You may not see the road between the cars. Option number two. You may not see the vehicle's turn signals. Option number three. You may not see the other vehicle's brake lights. Option number four. You may not have time to stop if the vehicle in front of you slows or stops suddenly. The answer is option number four. You may not have time to stop if the vehicle in front of you slows or stops suddenly. Question. Always signal when? Option number one. Changing lanes. Option number two. Pulling into or out of a parking space. Option number three. Pulling into traffic from a parking area or alley. Option number four. All of the above. The answer is option number four. All of the above. Question. If an officer is directing traffic at a working traffic light, drivers should? Option number one. Follow the directions indicated by the traffic light. Option number two. Follow the directions given by the officer. Option number three. Honk at the officer. Option number four. Check to see what the cars next to them are doing. The answer is option number two. Follow the directions given by the officer.
Question. Defensive drivers should. Option number one. Always keep their eyes moving. Option number two. Look for developing trouble spots. Option number three. Have plans of action. Option number four. All of the above. The answer is option number four. All of the above. Question. Railroad crossings should always be considered? Option number one. Safe to cross, as it is unlikely that a train will be coming. Option number two. Dangerous. Option number three. Safe locations to park a car. Option number four. A place where it is required to stop. The answer is option number two. Dangerous. Question. When making a right turn, you should not. Option number one. Signal to other drivers. Option number two. Swing too wide for your lane. Option number three. Slow down. Option number four. Move to the far right lane. The answer is option number two. Swing too wide for your lane. Question. If one of your tires blows out as you are driving, you should. Option number one. Break hard immediately. Option number two. Try to steer straight while gradually slowing by removing your foot from the gas pedal. Option number three. Maintain your current speed and steer straight. Option number four. Swerve back and forth to alert traffic behind you. The answer is option number two. Try to steer straight while gradually slowing by removing your foot from the gas pedal. Question. Night driving can be more difficult than driving during the day because? Option number one. Cars overheat more quickly at night. Option number two. Visibility is reduced in the dark. Option number three. It is more likely to be raining at night. Option number four. You are more likely to encounter a motorcycle at night. The answer is option number two. Visibility is reduced in the dark. Question. Shared lanes may be used by. Option number one. Bicyclists. Option number two. Truck drivers. Option number three. Motorcyclists. 
Option number 4. Passenger vehicle operators. The answer is option number 1. Bicyclists. Question. When driving on an interstate? Option number one. Stop on the shoulder of the road if you are tired. Option number two. You should always use cruise control. Option number three. Signal, check mirrors, and check blind spots before changing lanes. Option number four. You should change lanes often. The answer is option number three. Signal, check mirrors, and check blind spots before changing lanes. Question. This sign means... Option number one. Pedestrians walking along the road ahead. Option number two. Pedestrian crossing ahead. Option number three. Pedestrians must not cross here. Option number four. Be alert for construction workers on the road. The answer is option number two. Pedestrian crossing ahead. Question. You may avoid the risks of alcohol-related crashes by. Option number one. Deciding before you start drinking that you are not going to drive. Option number two. Simply saying, no thanks, I'm driving, if someone offers you a drink. Option number three. Calling a taxi. Option number four. Doing any of the above. The answer is option number four. Doing any of the above. Question. Allow a larger space cushion than usual when stopping? Option number one. On an incline. Option number two. At an intersection. Option number three. At a stop sign. Option number four. At a toll plaza. The answer is option number one, on an incline. Question. When driving at speeds faster than 30 miles per hour, keep a minimum following distance of? Option number one. One second. Option number two. Two seconds. Option number three. Three seconds. Option number four. Four seconds. The answer is option number four. Four seconds. Question. 
Question. It is important to be alert to motorcycles because? Option number one. They are more difficult to see than cars. Option number two. They rarely use their headlights. Option number three. Motorcyclists are less skilled drivers than other motorists. Option number four. All of the above. The answer is option number one. They are more difficult to see than cars. Question. To avoid road rage, it is a good idea to. Option number one. Allow extra time for your trip. Option number two. Begin your trip at the last possible moment. Option number three. Avoid planning your trip in advance. Option number four. Assume nothing will slow down your travel. The answer is option number one. Allow extra time for your trip. Question. You may park directly across the street from the entrance of a fire station. Option number one. If the emergency vehicles have just left the station. Option number two. During the night. Option number three. In clear weather. Option number four. Under no circumstances. The answer is option number four. Under no circumstances. Question. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit in an alley is? Option number one. 15 miles per hour. Option number two. 30 miles per hour. Option number three. 45 miles per hour. Option number four. 55 miles per hour. The answer is option number one, 15 miles per hour. Question. When changing lanes, you can check your blind spots by. Option number one. Using the inside rearview mirror. Option number two. Using the outside rearview mirror. Option number three. Using both inside and outside rearview mirrors. Option number four. Turning your head and looking over your shoulder. The answer is option number four. 
turning your head and looking over your shoulder. Question. You should not park within dash of an intersection. Option number one. 20 feet. Option number two. 30 feet. Option number three. 35 feet. Option number four. 45 feet. The answer is option number 1, 20 feet. Question. This road sign means Option number one. Your current roadway ends ahead. Option number two. You must bear either right or left. Option number three. A four-way intersection is ahead. Option number four. A road joins from the right. The answer is option number two. You must bear either right or left. Question. When may drivers leave their vehicle unattended with the engine running? Option number one. If they are leaving for just a couple minutes. Option number two. Never. Option number three. If they are idling near a railroad crossing. Option number four. If they are idling in an unfamiliar area. The answer is option number two. Never. Question. If a crossing guard is directing traffic in a school zone, you must? Option number one. Follow the directions given by the crossing guard. Option number two. Copy what surrounding traffic is doing, despite the crossing guard's instructions. Option number three. Assume the guard is not supposed to be directing traffic. Option number four. Follow rules that would be in place if no children were present. The answer is option number one. Follow the directions given by the crossing guard. Question. Before switching on the ignition, you should. Option number one. Be sure only backseat passengers have buckled their seat belts. Option number two. Be sure only adult passengers have buckled their seat belts. Option number three. Be sure only child passengers have buckled their seat belts. 
Option number 4. Be sure all of the vehicle's occupants have buckled their seat belts. The answer is option number 4. Be sure all of the vehicle's occupants have buckled their seat belts. Question. At night, it is hardest to see. Option number one. Road signs. Option number two. Pedestrians. Option number three. Other motorists. Option number four. Street lights. The answer is option number two. Pedestrians. Question. What should you do if your accelerator sticks while you are driving? Option number one. Reach down and attempt to pull it up. Option number two. Shift to park. Option number three. Shift to neutral and apply steady pressure on the brake. Option number four. Turn the engine off. The answer is option number three. Shift to neutral and apply steady pressure on the brake. Question. Drivers should use their low beam headlights. Option number one. When driving in fog, dust, or rain. Option number two. When following closely behind another vehicle at night. Option number three. Within 500 feet of an approaching vehicle when driving at night. Option number four. All of the above. The answer is option number four. All of the above. 